Hello everyone. Welcome back to The Journey. This is the 20th episode of The Journey. I cannot believe it. 20 episodes with the Dallas Opera Network. This is so much fun for me. I'm sitting in my car as you can see, just waiting for my car to heat up so that I can drive off to the store. I hope that all of these videos bring a smile to your face and that they make you feel good during these unprecedented and very difficult times. This is going to be short. The topic of today's video is something that I've spoken about before, but I'm bringing it up again because I notice that it's all around us and it's worry. Worry is um, in our news feed on social media. It is on the television in news reports. It is found in our jobs and our work environments. And unfortunately, it can even be found in our homes, the one place where we are supposed to be the most comfortable. Here's a short phrase that I want you to remember. Worry weighs a person down. That's very true. I used to hear my dad say this all of the time. He would say, don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. That's a verse that's found in Philippians 4, verse 6. He always quoted that verse, and he lived by it. For those of you who are feeling discouraged or, uh, or worried in any capacity, I want to share this verse with you. Worry weighs a person down but an encouraging word cheers a person up. That's Proverbs 12, 25. That's the New Living Translation. Here is my encouraging word for you today. Redirect your focus from the worry, anxiety, and uh, burdens that you may feel. And choose to focus on God and not the weight of the world. I believe that God cares for you. I believe He cares for me too. So choose to redirect your attention to the truth. Be bold. Be strong, be courageous. You have greatness in you. Don't forget to stay encouraged. That's easy to say, not always easy to do. But I believe in you. Welcome to episode 20. What are you worried about? Remember, there's always hope. My car is getting warmer, so I'm going to take off now. Have a beautiful week. See you.